Darth Vader may have been the villain in the original Star Wars trilogy, but here at Trustmark Park in Pearl, Mississippi, he is definitely a fan favorite. Standing alongside Mandalorians and Jedi are Starfleet officers, Ghostbusters, both big and small, comic book superheroes and Transformers, all dressed up for the crowd. And that got me wondering, what makes grown people want to dress up in costumes? Well, the number one reason and the number one reason every member of the 501st Legion dresses up is like is for charity and to do, you know, good works, raise money for um, children in need of medical equipment or, um, you know, different things. We recently did a troop uh, last week. A child had to have a bone marrow transplant. He was at St. Jude's right now. And they raised $30,000 over the course of the weekend to help his family out and cover some of the costs of the medical bills. So this is a way to give back to the community as far as charity goes for children's charities. When you walk into a room, a hospital room, or uh, you have a child walk up to you and you see that face light up, that really does it for us. It, it, it kind of makes it all worth it. It's a labor of love, so to speak. The 500 First Legion is not the only Star Wars costuming group you'll find helping out in the community. There's also the Mississippi Mandalorians as well. The Mississippi Mandalorians are very highly involved in the community, and I think that's something really great to give back to the community. And we're really involved with like the zoo, the art museum, just anything that enriches uh, uh, locally around Mississippi. And that's why I really am interested in it, and that's why I got into it too, was to, to bring an element of something different to our area. Not every costumer here is Star Wars. One in particular chose a costume from a classic era in history. Today I'm dressed up as CL Phantom Hive from the anime called Black Butler. Um, the dress is set in 1800 Victorian time from, the, uh, from England. From when I was five years old, I've done Halloween, and ever since I've uh, been in costumes, I've just been fascinated of how they could easily change you. You can just be whoever you are and just be free. Being able to be in a costume, it just makes me feel like I have a new mind, a, new slate, I can just be whoever. My total goal of doing this is just having fun and making people happy. It's always about my mood, like I could, like tonight's sci-fi, I'm not in a Star Wars costume, I'm in an anime, because I felt like it. With an expanded universe of characters to choose from, what draws a person to dress up as a particular character? You know, I think that each individual person has a perspective of Star Wars that they, uh, uh, enjoy more or they um, fantasize themselves being more of. Now me, I spent time in the military and I was always kind of a soldier from the beginning. So Stormtrooper TK was the first thing I wanted to do right off the bat. Though the standard white armor may be okay for your average Stormtrooper or Biker Scout, for others, it's only the beginning. Well, the costume comes as a kit. You buy the kit, but the kit is just plain. There's nothing customized about it at all. It's just a solid color, just ABS molded plastic that's been vacuum formed. And then you take that, and there's usually someone in every garrison that we call an armorer or someone that specializes in making costumes has a knack for it. And ours is Alan Young. He's a genius when it comes to putting stuff together. I'm Sev from Delta Squad from the video game Republic Commandos. Obviously, his costume is very unique than other Star Wars costumes. Usually they're all, all white or all black. And Delta Squad had a multicolored um, paint job on their costume. And I was kind of drawn into Sev's costume because of the, the blood splattered hand on the handprint and the hand on the chest plate. It actually kind of made it pop and made it very unique. In the 501st Legion, you want to try to get as exactly accurate as possible from movie, video game, comic book, television. If you have a helper, which is a key word is having a helper, or as we call them, handlers, uh, you can usually get in this costume in around 10 to 15 minutes if everything goes according to plan. Now, if you're by yourself doing it, it's going to take a good bit longer because there's Velcro that needs to be tightened up, straps, um, different pieces like that. So I'd say 10 to 15 minutes on average. It's definitely one of a kind. I don't think anybody else could probably wear this costume as I wear it because it was made specifically for me. There's no, uh, there's no uh, compensation or anything like that. The, the putting the costume on, really, it's kind of one of those things where 
you feel great in the costume because you get a lot of attention. You get a lot of attention from people walking by, car stopping, honking the horn, things like that. So it kind of makes you feel kind of more important than just an every, everyday average Joe that just blends into the crowd. It, it is definitely an attention getter. We do an event, we will bring a crowd in just of people just catching a glimpse of us outside.